everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group, continuing with our Anatomy of a Template series. So, so far, we've done our template full all out, my template, analog gear, summing mixers, inserts, digital and analog. We've done an in-the-box version of that where everything was done in Pro Tools using plugins, no summing. And then we did a simple version to show basically what you can do with very little, which was just using Pro Tools, an SSL channel strip, and Valhalla reverbs, and whatever other plugins, normal plugins that come in Pro Tools for delays and pitch shifts. So after I explained all the templates and the videos and imported all the tracks and showed you how that's done, I decided to mix two of them. I did the full version with all my stuff, and then I did an in-the-box version just to compare the two. A bit of a verse, right? and let's loop it and let's listen to that and then we're going to see how it actually sounds in comparison so first up we're going to hear the in the box mix into a dad bar to have some drinks and wash away the day into a dad bar to have some drinks Wash away the day into a dad bar to have some drinks and wash away the day into a dad. What I hear, the vocal was really lacking in the quality because I have the Manly Elop compressor, I have my uh, API compressor, and I have a also have the uh, Tone Lux EQ on the vocal and a similar thing with the bass. And also, I don't have my analog two bus processing on it. So let's go to the second verse and listen to that same section when the bass comes in and hear those two. So we're gonna start with the in the box mix first, sorry. Cheers to the So depending upon where I switched it, you can hear the vocal still has a silkier thing and the low end has some extension. That being said, it's it's really close and when there's more instruments covering up the things I didn't like about the vocal and the bass, you don't notice it as much. But where it really starts to get noticeable is in the chorus and the width of things. As more things are going on, the summing mixer mix puts the vocal bass and kick right in the center and clears the other things out in stereo better than the mixer does in the box. So let's check those two in the box first. So that's where you really hear it. Everything just sort of did this in the chorus. You know, in the chorus is the most exciting part of the song. You have to make it pay off. Let's check the bridge real quick, and then I'll point out one thing to you that'll give you a little, little uh, incentive, some hope. So I gain matched them at the beginning, but for some reason, the bridge just really comes out at you in the summing version. Now, an interesting thing, I tried to take the full mix without starting over, just to save time for the demonstration, and route it back internally. So, and you know, taking out the analog gear. It didn't sound good at all. It was easier to just start over 
and I was because I was chasing that, you know, and I was closer by starting over. But the interesting thing is working in the box and then going out to the summing mixer with the summing mixer, I get about 60 B more headroom so I can push it louder and it still sounds clearer. There's the advantages. Now, one positive note for you guys to take home is you can always get better at this no matter how long you've been doing it. I have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff over the years, gear in here, lots of time in, and I'll show you a little example. So I have a, a mastered version of this up here, the one in yellow, and it sounds good. And that was the mix we all signed off on, all three of us involved in it. When I redid it, I listened back and I thought, I don't know, I thought the choruses sounded a little better and the new version that wasn't mastered. So I'll play the second half of the second verse going into the chorus. So I'll go mastered first, and then we'll do the, um, the new version, unmastered but with the new template. I changed some things in my template. And the whole point of this is my template is always evolving. And don't take that as a thing to be discouraged. Take it as a thing of promise. As you learn a new technique or you get hit to something, and it doesn't mean you have to buy something. I mean, if you look in here. There's tons of plugins. I don't need any more. I just need to get better with the ones I have. And I actually had more outboard gear that I... I've slowly trimmed down because I found better uses. So in my new template, I discovered a couple of ways to use the things I already had, and I and I rearranged some dedicated things. So I dedicated my 1176 and my Pultec pair set a certain way, and I dialed them in, I think, a little better to the kick and to the snare. And that made the drums lift and sound better. And, and I didn't really change any of my outboard EQ settings, I don't know what happened, but the chorus gets wider and brighter and better, and it wasn't even mastered yet. So let's just check the chorus again, mastered first, then in the box. So the master one is really controlled, but it's more subdued. So, so remember, refine your template, keep working on it, keep comparing it, check your meters, check everything out. And when you feel like you know you're not sure, you can always go back. So here, here's the first version we had, and this was just the mix set up. So I cleaned it up, I phase aligned everything, I put the Pro Q2 and I put the SSL channel and I did a, a start there so I could use that as my basis to import into the template. So just to let you know how far it, it came with only a few hours because of the template. So here's the pre-template version and then we'll, we'll put in the template first. You could hear the beginnings of it were there, but you know, it's, it's much wider and bigger. And so every little five, 10% helps. So you just have to dig in and take your time. Don't worry about doing it fast. Just try to work and work on each one and, and you'll get better. It's like playing an instrument, you just have to work on it. All right, cool. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, hit me up. If you have any comments, put them down below. Any suggestions, I'll try to get to all of them as time allows. I hope you're all safe and healthy during this pandemic. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you can. We really appreciate your support. Give us a like if you dug the video. And definitely hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more content like this coming. All right. Happy mixing. Hang in.